but here is my diploma right here. This gonna be my year. This yeah. my year. This gonna be my year. This gonna be my year. This you know. my year. This gonna be my year. This gonna be my year. My year. Yeah, my year. Yo, guys, welcome back to the Jewel TV. Today's video is kind of like a podcast. I'm just gonna be talking about how I graduated as a junior, which is a year early, two semesters early, compared to normal graduation time. So, right off the bat here, I want to say, me graduating a year early does not mean I'm smarter than people that didn't graduate a year early. It means I have different goals in my life. Graduating early is not for everybody, and my gym teacher, actually talked to me about that back in early 2020 before the pandemic hit hard in 2020 and she was telling me how she's known some people that graduate early and then have no plan in their life for what they want to do and I understand where she's coming from she wasn't discouraging me but she was also just trying to tell me the truth the hard facts and there's pros and cons to both so some pros to not graduating early is you get an extra year to spend time with some of them school friends that may go different ways in life and you may never see them again or you may not see them as much. Um, you get another year to play sports. See with me, the main reason why I graduated early is because I've been doing advanced classes since seventh grade, right? And how that worked was so I was homeschooled up until fifth grade. Fifth and sixth grade, I go to an elementary school, grade school, and I, I accelerated. I got 105% on science tests. Elementary was one of the easiest times ever for me regarding grade reports, pretty much nothing but A's. How it worked was I got a letter in the mail in between sixth and seventh, um, basically asking what I like to be in a above average advanced group with a select amount of students like 25 students max or something I got selected I went to some meetings and I decided let's do this at the time I was 12 years old and I wasn't thinking this was before I even started YouTube um, this was I wasn't really thinking about long-term goals, what I want to do in life. I was just thinking about, ah, oh, I gotta go back to school in a month. So I went with that and I liked it. I mean, I got to do pre-algebra in seventh grade. Most people don't do that until eighth. And so then I got to do algebra one and eighth, I got to do geometry in ninth, and I got to do algebra two in 10th. You know, I got my American history, my American government, my physical science, my biology, chemistry, all the Englishes, one, two, three, four, all that stuff. Now, something I wanted to say real quick here is this whole pandemic thing since 2020, it did mess up some people, messed up some people I know, uh, mainly college, but it affected high schools too. But me personally, it didn't affect me that much. Mentally, yeah, but physically, not really, because I was still on track to graduate, and I did as a junior. Now, I could have graduated as a sophomore, which would have been insane, because people in this country, overall in America, that graduate a year early as a junior, is already an elite, small, small percentage. If I would have graduated as a sophomore, just two years of high school, and graduated, that would have been insane. Um... I could have done it what I had to take more classes online because there's only so many hours in the day that you can be at the physical building yeah you can graduate early but you can't skip to adulthood I'm still 17 um, there's still there's still only so much you can do before you turn an adult you got to be 18 to do a lot of stuff so like I said I got all my classes got all my credits done that's the main thing now, I did do a business class um, for one year. You have to do it for two years to actually get the certificate. Yeah, so I did a business class about accounting and a bunch of stuff. 
uh, went on some field trips. I liked it, but I just felt like long term I wouldn't want to be an accountant. It's a good career, pays really good. And some stuff I did do while in school was uh, where I played basketball for uh, my school when I was younger. I was in band and choir. I only did that for like one semester, half the year, um, because it was kind of optional. I mean, it was just a class at the beginning of each day. Band was an easy A overall, and it improves your GPA. And I did one concert. I did a Christmas concert, and I played the baritone. It's kind of like a smaller tuba. And I did Bible Club back in elementary school, 5th and 6th grade, some of 7th, I believe. But for about two, two and a half years, and I loved that. The, uh, the teacher was great. It was just fun every day after school for a couple hours. It was really cool. Something else here is study club. It's not like a club club, but I uh, got these certificates here. I got these certificates here for um, having a 3.5 at least GPA, something like that. And here's my three study club certificates, ninth grade, 10th grade, and 11th grade for this year. I guess it's time to show you my actual high school diploma. I've worked 11 years for this. Now before I show you this, I do want to tell you in case you're wondering, uh, Joel, where's your pictures with your gown and cap, or where's the video of you receiving your diploma? I decided not to attend my graduation ceremony this year. It did happen, um, and I'm glad it happened for them, but it was kind of weird uh, for me to go. This year's uh, junior graduating class was small. It was me and three other people that graduated a year early as a junior. So 99% of the other people that are graduating was actual seniors, and yeah, I'm friends with some of them, and I know most of them, but it's just weird because I'm not actually graduating with my class. My class was supposed to be 2022. So I'm leaving a lot of my friends still behind because a lot of my friends still have another year of high school left. But here's my diploma right here. Got it delivered a little while back, and there's a picture of the school, and that's what it says. This certifies that Joel Sonny Michaels has satisfactorily completed the course of study prescribed by the Board of Education for the high school and is therefore entitled to this diploma. So thanks for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments down below uh, your plans after you graduate high school, your future plans, and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next episode here on the Joel TV. Peace. <laughs>